All right. Uh, good evening, everybody. Thank you for uh, thank you so much for being here. And today I'm going to talk about um, fast parallel programming using modern C++. And I'm going to show you a very cool open source project called CPP TestFlow. And it's an open source project about how to make a parallel programming easier to handle. And I believe everyone over here all agrees parallel programming is a super important skill. And you should have to know that, right? And it's all about how to maximize the performance of your software and hardware so you can scale up your program across a different number of CPUs. And at the same time though, parallel programming is not a, it's not a very trivial task to do. And the main reason to this is the task dependency. Some task has to finish before some other task, and some task has to finish after some other task. And because of this dependency, we always have to worry about, be very careful about the race condition when we create multiple threads to help us do multiple things at the same time. Then we use lock to protect the session of the code such that only one thread can access a particular region at the same time. And this also gives rise to the issue of thread contention. Multiple threads are waiting for the lock owner to release the resource of the lock while they are not actually doing anything but taking really a lot of CPU resources. And if something goes wrong, we move to the most painful state, which is debugging. And we all agree debugging a parallel program is extremely painful. So with that being said, people try really hard to hard code a lot of time the task dependency when writing the parallel program. For example, suppose we are running a kitchen brigade where we have two line cooks working on the meat and garnish. One chef working on the plating, putting together meat and garnish together to the place, and two waiters doing the service and delivering food to two hungry diners. And like you can see, uh, we have five tasks plus four dependencies. And we cannot start plating until meat and garnish are finished. Similarly, we cannot serve food until plating finishes. Well, in terms of C++ code, we usually create five flasks to represent our kitchen brigade. Cook one, cook two, chef, waiter one, and waiter two. And then we will create three variables or initialize to false to represent the state of the, you know, the readiness of these dishes. Then when cook one finish the garnish, he will mark the variable to true. And similarly, when cook two finish the, uh, the meat, he will mark the variable to true. And when chef, and he cannot, when chef start his task, he cannot, he has to spin weight on these two variables until that become true before they can, before he can move to the next instruction. And similarly for waiter one and waiter two, they have to spin weight on this variable and when it become true, uh, before he can move to the next instruction. Well, this is a solution, but everything is very, pretty much hard coded. And we explicitly create threads doing these uh, atomic variables to do this uh, manual locking control. And this just turns out to be very messy and we don't like this. This code doesn't scale out very well. So we come up with a better solution in an open source project called CPP TestFlow. In a nutshell, CPP TestFlow is a C++ header-only library to help you quickly build parallel program with test dependencies. And this is how it looks with CPP TestFlow to the previous example. So first, you will create a TestFlow object to represent uh, uh, the kitchen flow, and then we will create, four, uh, create a five task for cook one, cook two, chef, waiter one, and waiter two, and then we will use the meta preset, use the meta preset over here to represent which task has to run before which task, and which task has to run after other task. And once we specify this pre precedence between different tasks, then we can use this wait for all method to dispatch the task. And the task flow object will automatically handle all this difficult concurrency control for you. You don't really need to worry about those thread management and lock control by yourself, which turns out to be very tedious. We also support dynamic tasking, and this is a very powerful feature of the library. And uh, this is a way for you to create the task dependency, task dependency graph at the runtime, and particularly very useful for many applications where you cannot decide a task dependency graph before running the program. So feel free to um, check out our GitHub and give it a try. Thank you. <laughs>